that was tough to see a lead lost like that, but how satisfying is that to see them come right back bottom half of the inning and, and push ahead like that? Yeah, I think it's all started off with CD's walk and, and uh, Wilkerson with a big hit and a gap. And then Alberto, like he's done all year, get big, get big hits for us. So, yeah, that was great to see. We were, uh, once again, started the game off, I thought, Pannone, Pannone? It's not French, Pannone, Pannone? Pannone. I thought he threw the ball really well against us, but I, again, I thought we came out... Um, didn't take very good at bats the first four innings, and it was disappointing. Um, but Trey kind of got us going there with, with the homer, and VR obviously with the homer, and then Trey with the homer, uh, which is what we needed. So that kind of gave us a boost and, and, a, and some energy in the dugout. Uh, but we just can't wait around that long. It's just it's not major league. You mentioned, of course, uh, Alberto, and a lot of times you see him, you know, go the other, you know, you see him go the other way, slap the ball. In, the, in these days of long ball, how satisfying is it to you to see that successful small ball? Yeah, there's nothing sexier than a base hit the other way with runner in scoring position for me. Love it. Um, seriously, I mean, it's it's a beautiful thing. And, uh, uh, you, know, you know, I think one thing he knows, Alberto's going to swing, and he's going to cover the plate. So he's going to always give himself a chance, never, never pulls off, uses the big part of the field, always has a middle of the field, right center approach. And that's what you need with runner. That's what guys that runner in scoring position. That's what they do. Uh, you use the whole field. And so um, I think a lot of guys, a lot of our guys, could learn from that. Brandon, after all the trade rumors and speculation, does a night like this underscore what Trey kind of means to you, to you guys right now? Does it underscore? Oh, I think I don't. I don't think there's any secret how much Trey, how much Trey means to us. And uh, you know, he's our middle of the order bat that is run producer even the three two and i had the runner in motion putting the ball in play huge huge be able to put the ball in play on a tough slider three two with the runner in motion um you know score they give us a, a big run for us and, and uh, uh but yeah i mean i think trey's power trey's got some of the best power opposite field power um in the league and, and like i've said all along i love when he drives the ball that way Challenging that bullpen management there, even with the extra arms with guys you didn't want to use, and, and you've got Ryan yeah, no Miguel Castro tonight, um, once again, and so somehow <laughs> get the last nine outs. Um, but Michael Givens, that was huge, stepped up, got four huge, huge outs, three of them by strikeout. Once again, I pitched him in the middle against the middle part of the order, um, and then Paul Fry did a nice job getting the big double play ball at the end of the game. So um, we somehow pieced it together, but got it done. And then tomorrow, Jakob, Jakob Bonus is going to open with Tom Eshelman behind him. So we're doing what we did in Anaheim. Does that have to do with their right-handed bats at the top? It has to do with the, we did a nice job in Anaheim. So I'm trying anything.